Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Block Center. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course subscribe right now. Well, Terence Bolt Crawford defeated Israel Madrimal uh, via Malaysian. Uh Crawford now a four weight uh, champion. Um, 41 and 0 with 31 knockouts. This was the first time he had he um, he went to distance for the in, in since 2016. First time going to distance since 2016, and because prior to that he had like after this fight he had 11 straight stoppages. Well, let me get my brother on here to give you a stake. Um, because it's very important to to to, to, to analyze this fight. Um, because Terence Bolkroff was next opponent, if everything go as planned, is Canelo. Bro, what do you think about this fight right here, Madrimal's performance? I thought it was a close fight, could have gone either way, but I think they gave it to Crawford because he landed more. But the more the more effective punches came from Madrimov, bro. And Madrimov didn't really get hurt one time. He didn't usually Crawford you, you like Crawford like figures you out late on in, in the fight and then stops you. But somehow he wasn't able to figure out Madrimov. Madrimov people might look at his resume and say, Yeah, but he only has 10 uh, 11 fights or 10, 12 fights. Well, he has a solid amateur pedigree. I've seen every of style. Uh, bro, what do you think about this fight right here? You think? Uh, like you said, I thought it was a, I thought it was a close fight. I thought it was quite close. I gave it to Crawford. I scored it seven five to Crawford. I thought that the last probably two, um, two out of three or even three out of three rounds. Crawford, uh, I think Crawford got it. I think uh, Magrimov slowed down a bit, but some things were really telling. I think some points that we take out of this for me, um, Crawford should stay at 150, uh, 154. He shouldn't go anywhere near Canelo. He should not go anywhere near Canelo. Canelo will be licking his lips now and he won that Crawford fight because he now understands that. The power is not translating. And once somebody figures out that your power is not trans translating, trust me, Canelo will do exactly what Madrimov did. He will stand in front of Crawford. And you know Canelo's power is something crazy. Nobody can nobody but, can stand. But was this fight unanimous issue though? I think Sorry? Should, it, I th was this fight really unanimous issue? I think it was it should be a split decision or a split draw. I had split. it I had it I had it seven fives or six six. The fight was it, um, but but unanimous decision meaning they just gave all the like come on man. This yeah, they gave it was a UD. It was a unanimous decision. One fifteen, one thirteen, twice, and then one sixteen, one twelve, for this thing. Both, but to uh, me, uh, or two American judges and one Canadian uh, judge. Yeah, and uh, to me, it should have been an international, probably, um, a Venezuelan, a a a, a Canadian and a British judge, not two American judges. And it was just like everybody was trying, God forbid, but everybody was, I, don't, I hate to say, but everybody was trying to please um, Turkey today. Turkey and his fighter and his ambassador, you know, giving him the Nevada State um, <laughs> Nevada State Hall of Fame um, this day and then scoring that score. Because the fight, bro, the fight was close. That fight was extremely close. Extremely, extremely close. So we're going to go back and watch it. And I'm going to score it again. It is close. It's a close fight. It was a close fight. And you can't say that uh, Madrimov was running. Madrimov was, was in his face. Almost throughout the whole this thing. On the court. Madrimov was in his face. It was a very, very close competitive fight. I, I'm sure that Terence thought that when he picked it up in a 90 cent round that Madrimov was going to fold. But he didn't fold. He was there. You know, and he stood toe to toe with him. I think in the 11th and 12th, Terence distinguished himself as the better boxer, which he is. But Madrimov was very, very tough. Extremely tough. He was tougher than anything that Terence said. I mean, even in the in, in, in even in the even in the twelfth round where Bomak 
It's usually the master strategies. No matter because they uh, but just have to get let your hands go, let your hands go, let your. They are out of ideas. Usually they're able they're able to figure people out. You can't figure Magnum out because he he's, he keeps his hands quite low, but his upper body movement is superb. You think you're going to hit him with the one two? You can count how many combinations Terence landed today. Terence landed very very little. He landed in shots, but he didn't land his usual combinations. Think back to the Earl uh, Spence fight. How many combinations that Terence landed? Think back to even when he got the 140 title. How many combinations? He combi- he lands combinations even against against them. Um, Sean Porter land combinations. No combinations. No combinations. He barely landed any combinations. He could barely land a one two. He would land a one, but before you say the two, Madrumov would have moved. So it was e- extremely competitive. Me, I, mean, I would like a rematch, but I know we're not getting a rematch. To be honest with you. Uh, that would be a rematch. Um, simple it. But Madrimo win is, 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 is um, get a shot. You know, he will. Uh, Madrimo, Madrimo will get one of the champions, one of the IBF or uh, the this thing. He'll get a champion. But we also remember Jamal Charlo is back in the mix. So, and he's the he's the WBC um what's um Charlo again WBC in um, recess. So he has a right to call for the, for the WBC title. I don't think Shallow would be Crawford. But the person that has the title for WBC is um is Fondura. And Fondura wants a match and Spence is wasting too much time. If I meant to fight the, the, the end of this year, Spence is saying that it has to be January, February. He's saying that he wants to fight. He doesn't want to stay inactive. So Charlo might just pick up that WBC. And once Charlo picks it up, Spence is not going to fight it, Charlo. But that would be interesting, though. See, yeah, it would be very, very interesting. I like that Fondura this thing. I like Zoo. I like Zoo Crawford. I like um, and Crawford is the kind of person that can even go to go to Australia and fight him. Zoo, sixty thousand people behind him, and I, I assure you that fight is going to end in a KO. It's going to end in somebody is getting knocked out. Yeah, it's going to be. Well, be well, Carlo Crawford will be a big fight, but it's not a mission I think he can accomplish. Because nah. if you beat Canelo, you have to earn his respect. Power mm. Crawford will not trouble Canelo. Power wise. Mm. I mean, we got a lot of questions answered today. We got to see that Crawford is not as good. It's not that power doesn't translate. We've got to see that even that David Morel that everybody has been shouting about, power doesn't translate. Power doesn't translate. So we've got a lot of questions. We've got to see that Pitbull Cruz is a one-dimensional uh, pressure fighter. And he can once you get it against once you box against him, he can't this thing. We got to also see. I was happy for you because we got to see that the prediction that you made two and a half, three years ago. That Martin Bancoli is one of the most underrated, best fighters, best heavyweight fighters in the world, and all of us, even including myself, I was doubting it. Now we we all got to see it. So we got a lot of questions answered today. Yeah, man. Um, he should either stay stay at this weight, um, it's just like Canelo. How Canelo move light light heavyweight, and then was beating uh he beat, he beat um. What was it called again? Sergey Kovalev, and yeah, yeah. Day, and he felt like he was gonna dominate the division, and he, until he met, uh, you know, Bivor. Met, uh, Bivor, and he well, Bivor literally have similar style to Madrimo, but different, and more. Elite. Yeah, yeah, you know those guys that are fought three hundred and fifty amateur fights. They are not a Bivor, joke. Bivor, Bivor is a different. Uh, Bivor is a different beast to Madrimo. But Madrimo yeah. is very up there. Mm. Those guys, those three other, those guys are not a joke. Anytime people keep on um, trying to sleep on them, and that's what Eddie Hearn was trying to tell Crawford. That Crawford, everybody, yes, he's the underdog. Oh. Everybody keeps saying Madrimov is a dog at underdog, but Madrimov is not a, an easy fight. And we all saw it today. He stood. My own, my own. This thing was like when he was doing it in the first second round, standing in front of him. I was like, guy. Comfort is going to catch you with something because comfort is going to wait for you and time you. 
Crawford could not get everything on. He could not get everything on. He was catching him, but he could not get the full power of everything. I've never seen Crawford miss so many times. Even when he fought Ricky Bonds, he didn't miss this much. I've been following Crawford. He doesn't miss. He was missing. And the guy was in front of him. And this is his 10th fight. If they should fight oh, Madre, next year... Ma- uh, uh, Canelo might not move his head like Madrid move. However, he will take Crawford's punches. But can Crawford take it? No way. That, that's the problem. He will take, he will take Crawford's punches. He'll like, yes, so give it to me. Give it to me. He'll take it. But what he'll give Crawford back? Bro. Bro. Crawford might not be the same. That's that kind of beating that <laughs> you don't come back from. It's that kind of, God, sorry to say, it's that kind of Deontay Wilder ties if you repeat it. You do not come back from that thing. You're, yeah, maybe, you're dabbing maybe, for maybe, life. Maybe, well, Tokyo Lashik is willing to make that fight happen. Just as, let's say anything can happen in the fight. For this no. performance tonight, I don't see it. He needs to, nah. he needs to, like, if he had settled in junior, in, in junior middleweight, I would say okay, maybe he can, right? Mm. So, but um, you are just moving up. Three, I think three week classes or two week classes. Three, um, two, yeah, two week, uh, two week classes because okay, one sixty, yeah, one sixty eight. Yeah, then you're moving to like basically. Canelo has been easy. Canelo, Canelo takes punches from everywhere. I saw, uh, I saw, uh, um, Sanchez. Him sparring Sanchez. Okay. Sanchez exactly. is very is very dangerous. However, yes, Sanchez will knock Canelo out if the if the fight does fight. You know. However, I don't think Crawford can take a punch from Bivor. No. And still stand, but I don't think it's like going to fight Bivor then. So what is the limit for Crawford? I think the, the is a record right now he should already tight, you know, fight elite uh uh, uh fighters. On in his division. Or, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think settle down for that one for uh, 154. To be honest with you, bro, I think 154, probably 160. If you can find a weak champion, I mean, the, the 160 division is very, very weak. Even Yannebeck, who is the who is the who holds the IBF and WBC, can't even make the weight again. He tried to make the weight um, in his last fight, and he ended up having internal bleeding. So. <laughs> so that one sixty division is quite weak. So he can go up and become a fifth, fifth this thing. He can, if he can find a, if he can find a party, he can go up and become a, um, a, a fifth heavy, a fifth um, world champion, fifth weight world, cha- five weight world champion. He can go up and do that. So it just depends. It just depends on what he wants to do. But clearly, he, sh- he shouldn't go past one fifty four. He's going to get injured if he goes past 154. Those guys, imagine Carlos Adames. All those guys, they punch hard. <laughs> and they punch extremely hard. And then, the, 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 <laughs> oh my God. Imagine, even as, 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 even imagine Crawford going against like even Big Charlo. Big Charlo. This new how. You can say skills and skills. But these guys hit hard. I'm sure he hasn't been hit as hard as he was hit by uh, before. This this was his he would t- his body will tell you that this match was hard for him. His body will tell you that it was hard for him. He hasn't been hit this hard before. He was hit hard, and you go up go up that this thing you are going to be hit much more hard. You have to prepare for it. People don't understand how how that Golovkin. Golovkin, those two Golovkin matches seizing Canelo for punishment. Because they seasoned him for punishment. Imagine being hit by Golovkin for 24 rounds. That is seizing him for punishment. Crawford is not seasoned for this punishment. Yeah, man. It's true. He should stay away, just take clear away from Canelo. It will be it will, it, will, it, will, it might not end well, bro. Mm, you, you, and see, he, you see his, his right high was he was sweet. Usually, Crawford switch ties. You know, he switch ties yeah. from Autodos to 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 uh, to Southport. But somehow he stayed Southport tonight. Yeah, it's not, it wasn't going to work. He tried it. I think in his second round or this thing, he tried that switch thing. It didn't work. 
it didn't work. Baba wasn't biting. The guy wasn't, Madman wasn't biting on the feint. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. So, I don't know. It's going to be, it's really going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough for him. It's going to be tough for him to actually find a, I don't know. It's going to be tough for him to find um to find to, to 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 fight. I'm just thinking about that Canelo. I know now Canelo will want to fight. Because like Toki said, Toki said that the offer the, he's made the offer to Canelo. And it's on the table right now. He said it before the match. It's for uh, it's for this thing to accept it. It's for this guy to accept it, Canelo or not. If he doesn't accept it, then it's going to be he's going to try and make a um, Boots versus Boots versus um, Crawford, but Crawford won't want that Boots fight. Crawford will do anything to him. He doesn't want that Boots fight. He just feels that Boots time is not yet um, this thing. He doesn't want to give him that opportunity. So, I doubt it. I doubt that he will take the Boots fight. So, I don't know, but to me, bro, he needs like two or three more fights at 154. Or two more fights before the Canelo fight. He can't fight Canelo. He's going to get... You know, Canelo is going to end his career. Well, he said he preferred the age, though. Huh? He, he, preferred, he preferred to fight because of the age. He's aging, so... Yeah, that's the problem. He's, 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 he, said he, said he, he's 36, so he needs to catch out. If that's why he's not entertaining a fight with uh, both, both Ennis. Yeah, but Canelo will, Canelo will end him. Canelo will end him. A lot of people forget that Canelo has ended the number of people. She mostly was well, did not want to retire. Canelo retired him. Um, Canelo has actually literally I've forgotten the guy who he took it, the one fifty four from. That guy had a long green. The guy was a Mexican fan. What's this guy's name? I forgot him. Canelo retired him. Canelo doesn't play. Look at how much damage he did to Jamel Chalo. Jamel Chalo did, couldn't come back. So now he hasn't come back. Oh. Ha. People keep on playing. People keep on playing with Canelo. Canelo will enjoy you. No matter what anybody says, he still enjoyed Bivol. Look at Bivol's body. There are pictures of there are pictures and there are videos of that match room posted it after know, the fight. But uh, Canelo, Canelo, will, Canelo will lose against Bivol. Again, yeah, but he he injured as in and also that, and also do you know the reason why before beat Canelo because he is a super <laughs> listen before is a different breed of fighter and also you might not know it but he punches also very hard yes I you agree know, with you I tell you right now this is why before and better be a fight is interesting because people will say yeah 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 better be is stronger. Or before he has a great chin and he's a master boxer. He doesn't yeah. he, he doesn't go into a fight with the intention of knocking you out though. Yeah, but the thing about Bivol and Better BF that most people don't understand Better BF, eh, the thing is that can Bivol can Bivol rise through adversity? Because we have seen Better be a rise through adversity. Me and you have seen Better be get knocked down by well, Callum Jones. Before has had over, think, uh, wait, hasn't Bivol had over 400 amateur fights? Yeah, but has he been dropped before? Remember that Gov, remember that Gov, Govni, when Govnik was Govnik. Better, and he listen, dropped, I think he the reason why Bivol hasn't been dropped before, like in the pro game, is because like he's seen all the styles. So he knows what to expect from you. Yeah. And also, he boxes very smart. He's very smart when he boxes. You know now, Better yeah. Beer's intention is to knock you out. He doesn't want to. He cannot. Bo- he does. If Better Beer's intention was not to knock you out, people would have had boxed him already. But his intention is to knock you out. He pushes the the the, the effort to knock you out. However, nope. before I don't think that I don't think that would be the case against Bivol because Bivol might get hit, but at the same time land his own. And avoid avoid the last punch from uh, Better BF. If Better BF cannot knock Bivo out, does it be Bivo? He will. I think. I think he will hurt him. I think. I think Better BF will hurt him. Yeah. Let's. I think. Uh, I think. I think that that strength. I think that strength is something else. Anybody that has sparred Better BF always says it that that strength is something 
is something ungodly. Well, yeah. better be ever has an heavyweight strength though. Yeah, he, he bowed down from heavyweight. He was heavy. He was fighting heavyweight. But, today, I'm sure. You, but you can also, but you can also avoid it by outboxing him. Usyk, for example, shouldn't be beating Joshua. Who knows Usyk has more amateur experience. If Joshua prepared the right strategy, he would have beat Usyk, right? Usyk mm. should be beating, should be beating Tyson Fury. The weight di- size difference is just different. It, it shouldn't happen, but Usyk did. I know Sik is, Usik is also very conf- like he's very deceptive in a way. He he, he sleep, you think he doesn't have power. I think that uh, that Shizura fight deceived us, right? Shizura remained mm. the only one to give Usik the a, a fight in the heavyweight division, and mm. he would say even almost won it mm. because he took every Usik's punches and kept coming forward. So somehow, mm. well, Joshua didn't get wasn't in trouble against Usyk, but he did get hurt a little bit. Why Fury was basically almost knocked out. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. October is going to be fun. I mean, it's going to be fun when when the, that that this thing comes. But it's all good, sure. Yeah, man. So, guys, if you heard it from our brother, please like the video, subscribe. God bless you all. And thank you all right. for coming. Good Thank you.